my when little we thought we, really we all had this really. in our mind yeah. that Ghana was gonna be bigger than little baby. No cap. Boy. But little baby no proved right. us wrong. Yeah. Mm. I think it's top off. I got drinking this clean raw. Let me give me that mean mouth. Mm. Get that pussy like golf ball. Ooh, I can ooh, do this ooh, without y'all. Ooh, ooh, I don't know how to go I go back to the drop mouse. Spread that bitch in the belt down. Catching it and I catch out. Turn that shit to a stash house. I ain't taking no hand out. When they calling, I'm in route. But them niggas, they been down. Blow back when I'm in town. Is it gonna you the best? I don't win and got a check. I don't buy flex. Out of my pocket, pocket that was on wet. I can water around my neck. I can start to worry less. When the bottom bitch lit, I take my fridge. Niggas sending me threats. I done bought a little bitch. I'm protecting my flesh. Nigga, pull my back. Fit the front of my hat. I don't have no wrecks. I can never get attacked. I should not like a seam now. I got back on my feet now. I can take out my team now. Yo, niggas don't remember this? This was a classic. So, classic right here. Y'all yeah, niggas didn't think we was gonna, was gonna, was gonna reach episode 20, but we did. What did we do? I got drinking this clean raw. Let me give me that mean mouth. Hit that pussy like golf ball. I can do this without y'all. I don't know if I got lost. I go back to the drop house. Spread that pussy like bells down. Catching it and I cash out. Turn that shit to a stash house. I ain't taking no hand out. No. When they calling, I'm in route. I'm in route. Nigga, nigga. Come on now. Go back when I'm in town. Yes. Yeah, I'm doing when I'm in town. I'm in town. Just trying to stay inbound. Yes. And I'm making my cash cow. Gonna came with his own sound. You ain't still in this flow now. Blowing smoke and it's so loud. I've been bringing these hoes out. Gonna get in his own now. Eat a green salad. Hey. Niggas still rapping. Rex. Rex. Got me relaxing. Rex. Rex. Yeah, go pet it. Go pet it. Flying up flexing. Flying up flexing. Nigga, we hell it. God damn. So, Wagwan man and Wagwan gallon. I'ma just introduce you straight off the top. Welcome to the motherfucking best show in the UK. We are the pod fellas delivering news and all things entertainment. But remember, all is art and all art is man made in the image of God. With me, I have Legacy. Yo. The motherfucking sound bender. This nigga make sound do whatever he wants. You only gonna never see a motherfucker Ben sound as much as you gonna see this nigga Ben sound. Anyways, and you got me, a sexy host, aka Lord Poddington, aka the cultural controller, aka the bucket hat bandit, aka your baby mother's side piece, and aka the hit and run connoisseur. And of course, you know what they call me. The realest potter in the game. Come on now. Shout out to all the fans. Subscribe, like, share, all of that things. There. You can find us on all platforms. I say this every episode. I'm sick and tired of saying it. All the major platforms type in pod fellas. You will be able to listen to this episode. Well, you're already here. So, welcome. Anyways, subscribe, hit the notification button. So, every time we drop, you know, sign up to the newsletter on the website. All of that thing there. All, 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 all of that. Ah. I was going to ask, are you weak was legacy? But I already know. I already know how you weak was. I can imagine you were somewhere just crying all week. Due to all the tragic things that's been happening. The racism. Ah, the sexism. Racism. Oh, wait. Oof. Yeah, fam, we're about to get oh, into Oh, I just realised how much we have it. to talk about. I just fam, realized. I told you. Oh, my God. It's about like to two be. Weeks. Fam, it's all, all in one week. All in one week. It felt like two weeks, yes, but it's all in one week. Oh, shit. I, that's what I'm telling you, bro. It's going to be a long one, so strap in. We're about to take you on this audio adventure. It's not always going to be sweet, but we promise we will sprinkle a little bit of sugar here and there. Anyways, um, <clears throat> so we've had a very morbid week, a very, very morbid week. Um, unfortunately, a lot of disgraceful things have happened in this country. A lot of things that are now in the forefront that have already existed and already um, happens, but always sort of, you know, brushed under the rug, you know. You know, the British politics, you know, the the the, the respectable 
oh, I'm going to do this behind your back, not in your face type of situation. That's why, that's where we got to where we are. But before I get ahead of myself, <clears throat> let's start. Let's start with saying rest in peace to Sarah Everard. I apologise if I'm saying her name wrong. I just don't know how to pronounce it, but I think I'm saying it right. Sarah Everard was a young lady who, on her way home, was reported missing. And the culprit is in the institution whose (coughs) job is to protect us as citizens. So when you hear things like that, it really puts things into perspective. That's number one. So, um, first of all, I just want to just say, like, rest in peace to this young lady. This is the most tragic news I've heard in a while. Like, it's just, it's ridiculous how crazy this is. So basically, um, you you heard about this, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This was this was trending online. This rest then, in peace. Yeah, rest in peace. Rest in peace to Sarah Everard. Um, <clears throat> right. So she was murdered by a police officer, and he disposed of her body in the woods somewhere. I didn't like the story was so sad and disgusting that I didn't want to read, not because I didn't want to know about it, but because. Nowadays on social media, like there's so much bad shit. Like I try to stay away from all the negative shit. I just, I just, I want to be aware so that I'm not being insensitive to people's feelings and what people are talking about. And of course this is trending. So, you know, I'm a media man. Got to know what's going on. Do you mm-hmm. get what I mean? But I didn't read where he dumped her body at, but her body was found and he's, has been charged. He had, charged he's been charged with her murder uh well this situation oh yeah by the way the police officer is called wayne cousins fuck you you're disgusting and i hope that you get what you deserve what you truly deserve because i know how the justice system works Yes, they've charged him, they lock him up, but he's still a police officer and he's probably still going to get protected. Anyways, this whole situation then led on to um, women on Twitter bringing up a very, 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 very fair point um, of saying that it's sad that we're in 2021, but yet, as a woman, they still have to think about walking alone at night time some like i read so many different tweets and, and and it's not that i wasn't aware of this but when you hear so many different people say the same thing in so many different ways it really puts into perspective like oh shit this is a bigger problem than i even thought it was and i thought it was a big problem already yeah does that make sense yeah because we live in a world where we kind of get this we, we, we kind of get ourselves in this perspective of things are getting better even if they're not. Do you get what I mean? And that's that goes with both sexism and racism. Do you get what I'm saying? But um, shout out to all the ladies that were able to either say their story or just, you know, say their two-piece and be heard and, you know, like, thank you for keeping us aware that there are still niggas out here that are fully doing that. Because... I don't want to be the guy that comes up here and, and makes the point of, well, not all men, because I don't want to do that or say that at all, because that's not the point of this. The point of this is not to protect men as a whole. The point of this is to root out the disgusting ass men that do this shit. Does that make sense? And I mean, I'm all in support of that. I do not want to step on that point at all. So shout out to all you ladies that came out on Twitter and were saying your stories and, you know, like, I learned a lot. I learned a lot. Like, some, some niggas are so... Oh, my God. Some, I'm not even going to get into that. But from now on, it's not that I don't even check my friends anyways. I've been checking my friends. But I'm, I'm about to start checking strangers. I'm about to start checking strangers. If I'm out in a club and I see there's a guy 
and and the girl doesn't look like she's. I feel like I'm now now with all of this shit happening. I feel like I'm the type of guy that would want to do something about it, but I'm not gonna want to predict what the fuck I'm gonna do hearing all of this. But it's just really sad, just going through all of this when in 2021 you you expect things to get better, but women still have to go through this shit. Anyways, um. That's one thing that happened this week. Do you have anything else that you wanted to add? Nah, not to that situation, though. Yeah, so uh, we're just going to close it off by saying rest in peace again to Sarah. Prayers to the family. Prayers to uh, everyone that, that's affected by her de- by her murder, not just death. Um, and Wayne Cousins, fuck you. You deserve, you, you deserve to get locked up forever. Some might say you deserve death, but that's not that's not up to me. That's up to Allah to decide. Anywho, so we're just gonna move on from that. <sighs> it's gonna be tough for me, man. Yeah. It's gonna be tough for me. I hate talking about. I hate like I don't hate talking about this stuff because I don't want to be aware, but I hate talking about this stuff because I feel like there's so much negativity already in the world, and I don't want to be a part of relaying that. I only talk about shit like this when it's important. And also it's important to let niggas that listen to us and ladies that listen to us know where we stand when it comes to shit like this. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? Like, oh, God damn. You getting a phone call in the middle of the podcast? Come on, man. Tell her you put it, man. God damn. <laughs> Anyways, um... Yes, so actually, before we move on quickly, another fact that I found out about on Twitter when all this was going on was that 97% of women in the UK have been sexually harassed. And this was done by an independent, legitimate survey where they questioned... I can't remember the number of women that they did the the, the, um, survey on, but they question quite a lot of women, and ninety-seven percent of them confirm that they have been sexually harassed in some form or some way. Yeah. That's fucking wild. Yeah, that's a nuts. That, that is wild. Ninety-seven percent. Only three percent of women in the UK know what it feels like to not have been sexually harassed. Yeah. Okay. I have one question to ask. What do you think? Why do you think this is? Uh, <laughs> I'm just asking the question. Okay, I'm not going to make Ask jokes. It. Not yet. Oh, but, no, no. Um, we're not making... This is not a funny situation. We're yeah, not making yeah. jokes about this. But we got we got to be real, though. we got to be real. And we got to be real with... The whites. Okay. The whites. Okay, I thought this was... Okay. Um, I think we talked about this on the pod, like... We've times, mentioned it yeah, a, few a few times. times like, we've mentioned this. We've been like, oh, it's like going home at night is techie for women. Like, like realizing that certain shit that men do can, you have to, you have to always be aware. Of course. Yeah. But we don't have that level of awareness as women, as because as they have do. to have yeah. that level of awareness. It's consideration from us and it's exactly. awareness from them. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. But like. It depends how you grew up as well. I mean, that's it, true. It would be funny to see, like, the stat on what type of men are... Doing this sexual harassment. Yeah. Right? What, what type I, of men... I, I think that stat is more... that and, and I came in here to actually say that. Yeah. I think that stat's very interesting, but I'll let you finish. Because we have... Obviously, you have the Twitter jokes like, ah, oh, black men... Uh, I guess black women, shit like that. Yeah, you have those topics. Exactly. But why then, do we never have white men against white? Women? When I think about it, or yeah. white men against other women. When I think about it, yeah, mm. like hmm. growing up, think like all the black men that I saw, mm-hmm. like the basic ideology from their interactions with women around me is what I saw. This is my perspective. Yeah, of course. It's like you never put. You always want to make the situation comfortable for a woman to come into. 100%. And if there's not a woman there, 
the vibe will change. 100%. When and as soon as a woman enters, what happens? The vibe will you change. You all act correct. Exactly. And even if the woman is three years old, even if it's a little girl. Yeah. And that's, and that's the thing. I want to talk about this in a sensitive manner. I think, I believe this is a cultural thing for Caucasians. Yeah, I, don't I know. believe sexism, racism included, is a cultural thing. It's engraved in their culture. In so much so that they don't realise it sometimes when they do it. Have you ever been out drinking with white boys? Uh, yeah. Has there ever been girls about when that's occurring? Yeah. Have you ever paid attention to how they react when the alcohol is in their system yeah. oh, to yeah. women? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And everyone who lives in the UK, everyone who lives in England, I'm talking about lads who drink, go to the pub... That behaviour in the UK is acceptable. We cannot let that be acceptable or say that's acceptable or seen as... or rom- Actually, let me, let me articulate myself properly. We cannot romanticise that because that's what leads to this. Yeah. A lot of the, a lot of the like, people that were posting and, like, had, like, takes, like, ah... Oh. They had jokes like, oh, the other 3% must be meaty or like... <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> or like... Like, uh, your niggas are wild. Or you like, think only 3% of women are meaty? Yeah. No offence. To- <laughs> <laughs> you think only 3%? No, like, this, like, come on. Niggas are still doing this to women that are, like, you know, yeah, that maybe like, you uh, might consider meaty or whatever. You man think men aren't worried about safety when they're out at night or... Why yeah. do you dress like that? All those typical responses. And then Mm-mm. when you see the guy, mm. he's got a uh, North Face jumper. Yeah. No, no, not even North Face. What is it? Um, is it North Face? What? Stone Island. Stone Island. Stone Island jumper. Yeah. Oh, I bet it's some white kids from Reading. He's white. Yeah, yeah he's 14 from years Redding old. Or from Leeds or something. From like. Leeds, yeah. Those places are disgusting, donnies. by the way. Yeah, of course. And that's what I'm saying. In places like that, that culture is bred and accepted even more. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? And it's like, when I came over here, because I wasn't born in England, and never were you, right? No, no. Yeah, exactly. When I came over here, I, like, I was confused as to how niggas was treating women. I was like, bro, I, I didn't... Yeah. This is a bit wild. Why would you talk about her like that? Like, You know, like, all of this shit, like, and I didn't understand it. And that's why I can say for a fact, it's a cultural thing that exists in this country. Yeah. Anyways, for, for it to be nine percent, nine seven percent is crazy. That's super wild. Anyways, but the one thing I will say though is number one. Actually, two things I will say. Number one, first and foremost, black men don't cheat, and number two, how comes black men don't ever get the praise that we deserve? I, uh... We don't do this shit. Is all I'm saying. I'm not saying you know point fingers to point fingers to like a specific race. The yeah. whites. The, the whites. <laughs> the whites. I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying black men don't be doing this. Like, and if there's black men in our community that we know that beats on these women, we do not encourage it the same way lads do. Yeah. That's true. Hey, man. That's true. All right, we're the, I'm the realest podder in the game for a reason. Because I'm just going to say how it is. It, that's what it is. Like, this is a very sad situation, and I'm not making any jokes about this purposefully. But I'm still going to be real about it. That's what it is. But that's what I'm going to say. Give black men their flowers. We don't cheat. And we don't murder women. Yeah, and there's there's a lot of other conversations to be had off this, like... 100%. So many different conversations, but I purposefully do not want to have that conversation after this tragic incident, just because, number one, there's so much yeah. shit to talk about in this podcast. Yeah, and number two, I don't want to step on her death. Does that make yeah, sense? Yeah, yeah. Because it kind of brought out a lot of women and made 
a lot more women more comfortable about speaking about some sexual yeah. harassment that they might have yeah. let go but and shit like that. I will quickly I mean? say that, like... That's important. The people that are speaking out on this, like, yeah. and, the, like, the people that are, like, social justice warriors or whatever... Oh, yeah. Know your definitions. It does more damage to not know your definitions and categorise things in categories that, first off, everything... The victims are always validated. Yeah. But some things are less severe than others. 100%. Don't just spout buzzwords and acute... And, Why do mm-hmm. you have Chloe Bailey on there? But... <laughs> but um, Stop looking at my saves. <laughs> don't... <laughs> don't just categorise things. This is my babes. Just, just for the sake, like... Yeah, anyways. Just for the sake of the argument. Like, yeah, this yeah. Is, we're talking I about agree. harassment mm-hmm. and assault are different. Mm-hmm. Like it should be your job to know the definitions sh- of both. You've taken up the role of being the social justice or the fire at the forefront. Exactly. Please know when Do your battles. Your research. Know how many, how much artillery you need. Is mm-hmm. what I'm saying. Do your re- just do your research. Yeah. Just do your research. That's it. That's all it takes. Research. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Talking about social my justice shit, warriors. Man. Thank you again for the knowledge. No, 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 no need to thank me, my young brother. True power is gained by sharing knowledge, not withholding it. Mmm, facts. So, what do you feel is the biggest issue within the black community currently? Well, aside from the political and economic ignorance, I believe it to be the relationship between black men and women. Do tell, do tell. Well, black men need to do better, and that's the bottom line. The black woman is God. She is the closest physical manifestation to God. The most superior women are ones from a deeply melanated mm, background. Mm, mm. And I'm tired of the media, TV and film <laughs> portraying <laughs> our queens as undesirable. the white woman. Loud. Yeah, we'll oh, see white woman. <laughs> no, thank you. This nigga's so funny. Listen, 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 listen to what he says. And I'm here to remind <laughs> black men that there is no better <laughs> sort of part of us than the black Where's your girlfriend from? Huh? Oh, my, my wife's mother grew up in Congo. <laughs> <laughs> but where is she from? Her uh, father's uh, grew up in Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just Her father grew up in Egypt. Aren't we all from Africa, brother? <laughs> <laughs>